And speaking of China, the competition is heating up there. Xiaomi releasing an electric car that's actually 4000 bucks cheaper than the Model 3. Given the price wars that have been heating up and already are heating up in China, how much more pressure could something like this be or, be, or put on Tesla sales within China? You know, it, it's we're going to find out here. I mean, I think they've, they've reached a, a solid baseline. And the real challenge for this company is to grow at scale, right? I mean, they're, they've talked about growing at 50% a year. Obviously, this year is going to be a, a, a different story with something more akin to or more like 20% growth. And we think they're making a very big pivot. And this is what we highlighted in our note earlier this week, that they're moving into the recurring revenue or software-driven sales uh, process here. And we think this FSD release coupled with the one month trial that they're they're pushing out into uh, into the US market is a, is a very big deal for them to move from being a hardware maker to a full full solution provider and and we'll see how um, mature this uh this FSD really is there's been some mixed reviews out uh, on the internet with uh the functionality but there there could be a potential uh embrace of the functionality as, as folks start to look at how um, the, how the vehicle drives as it mimics humans in in a more substantial way than a lot of the other folks working on uh, on full self driving. Well, and within that kind of services realm for Tesla, they've had to continue to moderate lower the pricing for FSD. Is FSD fairly priced at at this level right now? There's obviously a lot of price discovery happening right now on on the functionality, and so. You know, when you look at you know kind of the value of uh, you know a, a mile driven, you know, just on a cost basis, you know you're you're kind of right around a dollar uh, a mile in terms of the cost of ownership for a vehicle. Um, you know when you layer in someone's time, uh, depending on how you value that time, you you add on another dollar or so uh, of total value. And so how consumers really engage with that um, that value proposition, you know the the convenience of being able to multitask in their vehicles or just have a little bit more safety in the cars uh, is really, um, you know, TBD at this point, I, I think, as we get into uh, what's, you know, termed level four, level five self-driving, where you can really legitimately take your hands off the wheel and let the car do the driving. I think there's a lot of value there. Uh, and so thinking about this kind of twelve to $15,000 um, upfront payment, it doesn't seem unreasonable. You know, the $200 a month subscription fee over the course of time actually adds up to substantially more than that. Uh, and, and I think we're we're just testing the market right now for the first time, and, and we're going to find out a lot in the next year. 